hello guys welcome to take me devoted today in this video we will uh, discuss a java program which will count the number of vowels in a given string uh, there are several ways to do that i will discuss one of them so let's start first uh, i'll create one list of vowels uh, both in uh, small case and ca uh, capital case and let's support this So I have created this list, list of vowels. Let's make it list of vowels. Have to change this as well. So list of vowels consist all the vowels now uh, I'm not taking uh, input from users so just uh, define one string here A string we'll define uh, our string here now now actually it's a uh, very simple what we need to do we need to iterate this string uh, and we need to iterate this list hope you understand how so we'll take a for loop now we'll create another for loop now we have to write just one statement what we will write will uh, write one if statement here now if list of vowel dot get of index so this is j so we'll write of j equals equals what this input string and we have one method of a string is caret and this will be i so if this will be there we will take one variable any variable let's take in count and here we will increment it that's it and we'll let's print this here so just this uh, this is a very simple program so what it will do actually uh, we will find the list of vowels dot get index so we will uh, we will comparing these values with Mm, we have character caret so it will uh, provide the character at the particular index so we'll uh, comparing it if it is equal then we will uh, increase uh, increment the count value so let's uh, write some string like welcome to let's mix it I'll mix both small case and capital case so ideally what would be the number of vowels it would be 9 you can count it here also so let's run it and let's check it 
what is the output so yes this here we go we got nine so in this way we calculated the number of boils in a given string so I already told you you can use several ways instead of uh, uh, put all those values in a list you be, you can use directly here if condition multiple or condition using or otherwise you can use switch cases also but but I discussed this method and hope you like it and although this is very simple but yes uh, hope this is helpful we'll see you in next video